Okay, guys. So, hello everyone, and welcome to today's IntelliPath live webinar on start working on AWS in under 30 minutes. Today's webinar is conducted by Mr. Kevin, who is a senior cloud architect. He has more than six plus years of experience in the field of cloud computing. So, I'm pretty sure he has a lot of wisdom to share. So, guys, let's welcome Mr. Kevin into the session. So, over to you, Kevin. I hope everybody are doing good. So, I welcome you all apart for the session. So, here under 30 minutes, we'll be learning why you need AWS and what is the career pathway in that and what are the different types of services AWS provides and something like that, which is very much regarding the same of AWS. So guys, we will not be going in depth of AWS since it's a fresher session, but I'll give you an overview about AWS in this particular session. Not even basic concepts, but I'll give you the overview. That's it. Because so I want you to know what exactly is AWS, what does it offer you and how things work in AWS. Okay, cool people. So let's move ahead. So this is the agenda for today. In this particular agenda, we'll be following all these things. So first of all, we'll see why AWS, okay? And steps to learn AWS. And the third one is very important, guys. So AWS certification path. And followed by the fourth one, further learning. How can you conquer the other certifications in AWS as well? So we'll be discussing all these four points. Okay, cool, guys. Let's move on. So why AWS? So AWS should has n number of services, which are very much higher when compared to different types of clouds, followed by AWS also offers you something like pay as you go. No need to pay everything as upfront. You can go pay as you go as well. I hope this is pretty much clear. Why AWS? Okay. Elaborating on the same part. So AWS has its complete services been offering over 190 plus countries. So it is very vast. Followed by the second point is the SOP of your AWS, right? Which is nothing but 200 plus cloud services. So no other cloud provider is offering as many services as your AWS offers to you compare with, with any other one. So people, I hope everybody knows the full form of AWS, Amazon Web Services. Yes. And it has more than 1 million active users. Now, when you compare this with other clouds, why AWS? This is also one of the selling point, guys. So if you see the industry, guys, these are very updated charts. So these are Q4 of 2021. When you see that, so people, here you can see why AWS. Here it gets you when you compare with different other cloud providers. So if you compare with your Azure, GCP, Alibaba, IBM, Salesforce, Tencent Cloud, sorry, Tencent Cloud or your Oracle, or if you compare your NVIDIA, HP, any other cloud, AWS is the major stakeholder in the entire cloud industry. Okay. Since it's much more reliable as well as it offers you the multiple services than any other cloud provider. I don't know why the uh, team has kept 7,500 jobs, but more than that, we get lots of things for the solutions architects, every new job uh, when we go through regarding these links. So you have multiple job openings on top of cloud. Why? Because these days, every industry is getting into cloud, whether it's a pharma, whether it's an edutech, or whether it's a manufacturing unit or whatever, whichever the industry you check into everything are getting into cloud as they are much more reliable so this is pretty much why you want to uh, know aws if you want to have some reference who are the big players using this aws or the amazon web services i hope everybody knows netflix pinterest Tradit. People don't get confused. So Salesforce is also a cloud provider, but it also uses AWS cloud internally. That's the best part. Yes, guys. And Twitch, I hope many of you might be knowing, it's an in-house uh, video streaming service of Amazon itself. So it uses its own cloud. That's pretty much regarding the big uh, players. Now, moving over here, the salary, this is very much important to each and everyone. The salary, how much you're getting paid for the solutions architect. So guys, the source is Glassdoor itself. So you can even check the source uh, from any other third-party websites or your LinkedIn's or whatever it is. But this is very average uh, pay scale which we are talking about. Uh, we are not talking about either the high-paid uh, job, I mean high-paid packages, nor the very less-paid uh, packages. This is a median package where you can look into. So if you check out with the US, there the solutions architect is getting paid around about uh, the sum amount of this much over here as a one lakh eight thousand four hundred dollars per annum. As well as when you come to India, that's gonna be varying around between uh, twelve lakh change. 
So this is pretty much the parent scale which you are getting paid in 2022, guys. So the highest in India even can hover around around about 35 to 40 lakhs if you are a senior solutions architect, guys. And uh, also note that I am not merging any of your DevOps service without knowing any DevOps. If you are completely into cloud, this is the package which you are getting. But on top of cloud, if you know something like DevOps and all the other tools which we use, right, that even goes higher because the demand is there in the industry for every industry which you go into, right? So shall we see the steps to learn AWS? So moving on now there are different services which your aws offers you okay so there you can see uh these are not the, all the services these are just some of the images which you are going through guys i hope i can hopefully show you show you some hands-on as well if time permits me okay so let's go on with this same so there are different services so let's see each one of them so there are different services which you might be knowing something like your rda services database services or your compute services or your S3 services. There are tons of services, guys. I hope uh, everybody knows because there are 200 plus offering services which your AWS provides you, right? The same way, so people, let's see the certifications. What are the different types of certifications AWS offers you and how does it help you to bag a job and uh, how it differs, okay? So talking about the certifications, there are four different types of certifications in your entire AWS. I hope you people might have heard to these terms before. So something like uh, foundational, associate, professional, and speciality. So let's see each one individually, guys. Okay. But the main focus is on the solutions architect associate, since this is the common one, which a solutions architect does in the first place. So we have something called as foundational. The name says foundation, which means that, guys, this examination is conducted to check your basic skills on cloud. They'll not ask you about AWS get into depths. They'll ask you very basic fundamentals. What do you know about cloud in the first place? So once this certification is cleared, you can give the next level of it. If you don't give this foundation also, you can directly give your associate, but it's completely up to you guys because you need to pay for this particular certifications out here. You need to pay and give them. So let's see about associate. Here comes our ma major focus because ultimately we'll be preparing for this, I mean, uh, solutions architect associate. So in this, in this solutions architect, associate what will be involved i'll talk in next slides but once this associate is passed then only you can give this profession so it's nothing but it's the ba basic level in uh, the certifications once this is accomplished you need to go with a professional if you are really up with this and followed by once you give a solutions architect you can go and give your devops engineer as well since solutions architect when you get prepared for solutions architect ultimately you'll be knowing something of sysops administrator as well because solutions architect is the center of every course so whatever may be the certification you want to take in future solutions architect will help you out in the regarding the same because ultimately all the services which you use out here some or other how they will be involved in your solutions architect as well. So people, and you may go take question that these examinations or these certificates will be valid for how many years, right? Everything will be having an expiry. So it's valid for three years are done. What you can do is you can re-give the exam. So AWS is going to be giving you a 50% discount coupon since you are repaying the amount and you can give it. People, let's see what is the pattern of the exam and what is the pricing of the exam duration and all these things. Okay, there you go. So now here you can see the format is MCQs people, every exam, whatever you take from AWS or Azure, this is going to be MCQ questions and most probably the scenario based questions as well. Not just like the SR no type, but you'll be given a scenario and they'll be asking you which services most suitable to get you out of that scenario. And when you go with associate people delivery method, I hope uh, it's not updated, but you can take these exams from home as well. You have something like uh, Pearson VUE, VU, so these are the proctor uh, things which help you to take the examination. and they They'll help you and uh, to get the certifications done so they'll proctor your sessions entirely so people now going to the time frame so when you go with the time frame for your associate exam you'll be given 130 minutes and the pricing for the same is 150 us dollars and if you want to give a demo test to just check how the environment is gonna be you should pay 20 dollars for the same and these are the available languages where you can give the exam if you want to give this exam while going to your testing center you can log into aws portal and you can check the same uh, wherever the nearby testing center is available with you okay and the same goes with your professional as well so the time frame is 
increased to 170 minutes this time and the cost is double 300 us dollars and if you go with specialty the, the same 170 minutes again and 300 us dollars guys i hope pricing and the format is pretty much clear to each and everyone this is how the pricing and the format gonna be for everything out here every certification you take from aws now if that's clear let's move what exactly are your uh, solution architect certificate gonna be having Okay, from which point or from which scenarios, uh, context, these people will be giving the weightage of the paper. So people, everybody have a look out here. This is going to be interesting and very important as well. So it's completely split over to four domains. So every service is getting split into four domains out here. And we have the first one, resilient architectures. So that's going to be taking your 30% weightage of your examination and high performance architectures that going to be taking your 28% of the weightage and so forth. And people being a solutions architect, the very much important thing which you need to believe when you go to uh, giving any interviews or anything else or giving any exams whenever you deploy any architecture it should be cost optimistic at the end of the day that's your first thumb rule when you're going for a certification or your job or anything being a solutions architect that's your first thumb rule so remember that and that thing helps you in the long run so these are the four different domain categories if you want to give your associate level examination and this is how things work. And if you talk about the other one, which is SysOps Administrator. So now we have seven different categories because ultimately at the end of the day, you'll be preparing for the same. So people out here in this networking, security, and all these things, automation and optimization, you will be learning this all these things, storage and data management, high availability, monitoring. I can tell you the services like the first one is more about your cloud watch. The second one, availability, you'll be learning that in Solutions Architect as well. Deploying, you'll be doing that. Storage, you can say your uh, storage services and your RDS services. And the fifth one, you can say IAM and KMS. Networking, you can say VPCs. Seventh one, automation, cloud formation and uh, ops work. We have multiple services. All these services you'll be learning when you're getting prepared for Solutions Architect. That's the reason I told you solutions architect is the center of every examination so that helps you uh, to give other examinations as well so this is pretty much regarding your sysos admin administrator and once you give that you can you can also get ready with your developer but guys being a developer you need to know skills of coding as well it's not only about creating architecture it also needs you to have some coding knowledge as well python is much more appreciated if you want to some a cloud developer or something like that java and python these two mainly play a crucial role in entirely over here. So people, let's move to the further learning. So what is the further learning? How do you upskill your uh, things regarding the certifications and entire AWS? It's pretty much simple, guys. We have something called as AWS Docs, documentations, which is pretty much appreciated to each and every one. Make a habit of going through them each and every day. That would help you out. And also people, so if that's also clear, stay subscribed to our IntelliPad blog as well as the YouTube channel. So there we'll be giving, so we'll be showing you different services regarding how you can deploy them out of free of charge so that you can have a clear understanding for the same. So that would help you to upskill your skills as well. Okay, so you can follow the IntelliPad blog as well as the YouTube channels. And that's pretty much from my side for today, guys. I hope you found a pathway or the overview of the AWS, how you can get yourself ready to get into AWS. Cool guys, from that's it from my side. So thank you so much for everyone for joining the session. I'd love to see you in one more. Until then, have a great week ahead.